All right. If you guys could see my tripod right now, uh, my boyfriend took the tripod, a little mount thing on accident. So uh, if you could see this little creation I made here, <laughs> it's really ghetto. I literally have a Conier mirror box with my Marc Jacobs foundation box and then my camera on top of all of that. Super funny, but hey, you work with what you have. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, it's 2016. That is crazy. Uh, 2015 has been a journey. If you guys haven't seen my 2015 year in review, I'll link it down below. I had so many feels uh, making that video. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for being a part of my life and just coming along this journey with me. It has been incredible and I can't thank you enough. I love you guys so much. Back to the topic of the video. As you can see from the title, this is going to be my December favorites. And I was debating doing a yearly favorites, but I may do that one maybe later on in January if you guys don't mind it being a little late. Um, I just need to collect my thoughts and get everything that I have loved so much from 2015 and put it together and maybe create a kind of a different kind of favorites video, something a little more cool. So uh, let me know if you're interested in a yearly favorites, but for now, I'm gonna just focus on the month of December. Why is it so hot outside? Why? Why? Hey, hey, shh. Calm down. <laughs> I have quite a few skincare products in this favorites because, girl, let me tell you, I've been traveling so much for the month of December and everywhere I've gone, it has been freezing and my skin had really messed with me. Not as far as like acne, which thank God, I'm so grateful for, but the drying of my skin, and that is a problem that you guys may be familiar with. I don't have because I have super duper oily skin, but seriously traveling and your skin is kind of like shocked from the weather change, it really affects you. So I went to London, I went to Virginia, I went to New York, upstate New York, it was freezing and my skin has just been super duper dry. One of the products that have saved my life is this Aesop moisturizer and this is the Camila Nut Facial Hydrating Cream and this is wonderful, it is super duper thick if I didn't have a really bad stuffy nose, I could try to describe the scent more. <laughs> but it smells lovely. Um, <laughs> sorry for the poor description of the scent. This is a thick cream. I apply it at night uh, when I go to bed. This isn't a moisturizer you wanna use uh, to layer your, found your foundation, your makeup on top, just because it's too thick for me, being that I have oily skin. So if you have dry skin, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use this during the day with you know, some makeup on top of it. But for me, I strictly like to use this at night just so that when I'm sleeping, I'm really, it's really sinking in. It's quite expensive, so I just want it to really just soak into my skin and it just moisturizes your skin so well. It hydrates. It has saved me um, from this drying cold weather. If you are looking to spend a few extra dollars to get a really nice moisturizer for the nighttime, I would try the Camila Nut Facial Hydrating Cream. It's wonderful. Next, I have a cleansing oil. And this is from Eve by Eve's and this is the lavender hydrating cleansing oil. Uh, like I mentioned uh, My skin's been very dry. This is such a good cleansing oil because it really does hydrate your face um, The scent is amazing. I am a sucker for anything that's lavender lavender candles lavender uh, Soap lavender body wash lavender cleansing oil anything lavender. I love even like lavender tea is one of my favorites so uh, that sold me but it actually works so well. I like to use this on my dry hands and with a full face of makeup, I will you know, squirt a pump or two into my hands and just lather it into my face and you would just see all of the makeup melt off. It just completely breaks it down so nicely and it's very gentle on the face. I love cleansing oil because uh, you don't have to really tug and pull like you do with wipes. Wipes I use sometimes I like to use wipes when I travel just because it is easier than to take like a bottle of oil with you. But if you're at home, I really recommend using oils because it's, uh, you don't really have to tug and pull to get your makeup off. It's just really such a simple, calming, relaxing process. And that's what I recommend because the more you tug on your face, like trying to take your makeup off later on, 
all that's going to show in your wrinkles, okay? Um, what doesn't show now really will show later uh, while you age, so just keep that in mind. It's super important. Now, following that cleansing oil, this is the cleanser I have been using, and this is the Marine Protection Brightening Creamy Cleanser. Now, that's a title for you. This also has lavender essential oil. Go figure. That's why I love it so much. It also has rose oil as well. By the way, all of Eve by Eve's products are natural, so it's you know, very beneficial for your skin. You're not putting a bunch of chemicals on your face, so that's why I enjoy it. This is just a really nice cleanser. It lathers well. It takes off all of the dirt and makeup on your face. I apply a little dime size to my palms and just go in and clean everything. I like to cleanse twice, once to just get off the makeup and second time just to be sure there's no residue, no nothing. I am a true believer that cleansing your face and, you know, taking the right steps to clean it is going to to keep your skin from breaking out and also preserving it, you know, for the long run. And there's just nothing like having a nice canvas before all the makeup, you know? Up next, I have another moisturizer. So this is another moisturizer from Aesop. I don't know if it's Aesop, Aesop whatever, but <laughs> this one is called the Parsley Seed Antioxidant Hydrator. And this is a moisturizer that comes in a pump, okay? And I love to use this during the daytime. So this is what I use before I apply all my makeup and I have it on right now. What I love most about this is that it absorbs into your skin immediately, so you have to work fast with it. I do like even three pumps, even though that sounds a lot. It's really not because it absorbs so fast and it doesn't leave you an oily residue it doesn't feel slippery. It feels like it just sinks into your skin super fast. And being that I have oily skin, um, I want something that is going to help my makeup last longer. So all in all, if you are looking for a daytime foundation, this guy, you must give a try. My next favorite is a concealer by NARS. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Yes, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, I have two here just because they're two different shades because they don't have one shade that fits me perfectly. I really love this concealer. I've been using it for months now and it's amazing for under your eyes. In my opinion, it's full coverage and I use it with my beauty blender and it just completely takes away your dark circles. It doesn't make me look cakey. Um, I will say if you go crazy with concealer, which I think all of us are guilty for sometimes, then it will look cakey because it is full coverage. But if you use the perfect amount, it looks beautiful on the skin. And the shade that I am in is uh, light two, which is called vanilla, and medium one, which is called custard. So I mix vanilla and custard together and they're just so, amazing. They blend really nicely. They set really well. I don't think they're super oily where, you know, if you do have creasing under the eye, it won't crease really, really fast. I'm lucky enough to not have so much creasing under the eye, so uh, I don't really have that problem, but I can, I know that's a problem that a lot of girls have. So this concealer is amazing and I really, really love it. Next, I have these two lip guys right here. And this is a lip liner by Eve by Eves and it's called Oak. And if you watch my vlogs, uh, especially during Vlogmas, a lot of you have been complimenting my everyday makeup. Well, this is the lip that I've been wearing, this combo. And this lip liner is honestly everything. I love it so much and I've talked about it so much in my vlogs. And all of you want me to do an everyday makeup a routine, an updated one, and that's coming very, very soon. It's just such a beautiful lip liner. It has that oaky color to it, a nude kind of oaky warm color. It's not, you know, super duper nude where it washes you out. It just gives you a really nice color to your lips. I outline my lips with this and I also fill it in. And I just dab a little bit of this guy. And this is the little mini ColourPop uh, liquid lipsticks. I know they have the big ones, but I've been loving the mini ones just to toss in my bag. But this is the shade in Times Square and I apply this all over my lips first and then I dab a little bit of Times Square because a little goes a long way and I just dab it in with my fingers. It gives me the perfect lip combo. But if you want to know what this together looks like, it's in my Vlogmas vlog. The title is Christmas Shopping and this is what I'm wearing. So yeah, you'll, you'll see it soon in my everyday makeup tutorial. So I love that it's retractable. You don't have to sharpen anything. It's an amazing color. It also has a retractable like lip brush that I find very useful, but yeah, I just, I love this lip liner so much. Probably going to restock it 
like all the time. Next, I have a highlighter, and I know I'm late on the bandwagon, but I just got my hands on it not too long ago. It's the Anastasia uh, So Hollywood Illuminator, and this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous gold highlighter. I just love how it's not super flaky. It really reminds me of how the MAC Extra Dimension uh, highlighters are, how they're just kind of like, they seem like they're baked, but they're not flaky. Um, and so this color is just so gorgeous. I feel like on everyone. I've seen it on so many girls and I think it's flawless. Um, a little goes a long way. I'm personally uh, just not a huge like, highlighter on fleek kind of girl. I love highlighters, but I just like it to, I just like a touch of it, like a hint of it. I think that's beautiful, just like a little radiant glow. And so this is beautiful for that. I love this highlighter so much. It's definitely been in my travel bag. Up next, I have this little guy right here, and this is a liquid eyeliner from Eve by Eves. I know I've been mentioning them a lot, but they, it's a new brand that I found, and I really love their products. It's, they honestly have some really good stuff. But uh, this is the uh, black, 01 black. It says it's a conditioning smudge proof gel eyeliner, which I agree, it's definitely smudge proof. What I love about it is how rich the black is. It's very dark dark black which i love i've used so much of this and i literally popped this open like a month ago uh, <laughs> it's like halfway gone but um i i love how it's very movable it's not super uh, thick or drying feeling it doesn't like it doesn't dry out really fast i could keep this open for a minute and it's still very moist um, it's so easy to put on, it just glides right on. And when it sets, it's like a, you know, a matte black. It's not lacquered and I don't know, I, I, I just love this and I highly recommend it. Up next, I have this guy right here and this is a bronzer from Chanel and it's quite huge. It's quite on the pricey side, but look how much product you get. It's humongo, okay? This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer, and this is like a creamy product, but it once it goes on your skin, it sets as a powder, which I love. So if you have oily skin, which you know I have, I was kind of nervous about trying this out, but I'm in love with it, especially because I told you how my skin has been way too dry. This gives I feel like putting powder on dry skin, you can really kind of see your makeup and it just flakes into your dry patches and things like that. Well, this I use with like this kind of brush right here and I just go in and I buff it into the skin and it just gives you a more diffused bronze look. It's so natural looking, such a pretty color. I feel like it's one of my lightest bronzers, but that's what I love. It just gives me a hint of color uh, all around. And then if I am going out, I just like to add a little bit more of a darker shade right into the hollows of my cheeks. I have it on right now, and I don't know. I, I, think, it's, I think it's such a gorgeous bronzer. Um, I've never tried anything like this, like a cream that I love. So this bronzer is definitely a favorite of the month of December. The last product I want to talk about is another skincare product. And you guys know this month and the past few months I've been using a lot of natural, organic, uh, paraben-free products. But there is one product that I do have to mention that isn't you know, natural because it is an acne product. This is from Maraud. And as you can see, it's almost empty. Uh, this is my second bottle. Uh, me and my boyfriend both use this a lot and we go through it so quickly. It has really saved me from breaking out sporadically. This is the Maraud Acne Clearing Solution and uh, this is like the step two, so it has two up here. This has 0.5% salicylic acid and that is obviously what's going to help with your acne. It helps with my breakouts, it, it, it really cleared up my skin, so I'm a huge fan of this product. So check this out if you're interested. That was a lot of products. Uh, <laughs> I hope I didn't ramble on too much about them, but I've seriously loved all these things so much and I was very excited to share them with you. Um, if you are on the market for some new stuff, then I feel like, you know, favorite favorites videos are really great because we are like your, your, your test 
buddy. We're able to test it out for you, let you know how it is before you go buy it. I have a giveaway with all these products right here, and these are all from Eve by Eve's, which you guys know I've been loving for the past few months. So I know it's very unexpected, but I have to do a giveaway for you guys. It's freaking 2016, it's new year. What better way to bring like warmth into my heart than to give back to you guys? So you're getting all of this stuff. Can't wait. Uh, the rules are simple. Leave me a comment down below letting me know with what your top New Year's resolution is. Uh, it could be anything, just one New Year's resolution. Leave a comment down below. And also you have to like this video because that would just make me very, very happy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add that into the rules. But that's it, just two rules. Uh, like this video, leave a comment with your New Year's resolution and I'm going to randomly pick out the winner and one winner will be receiving all of this stuff. And don't worry, there's gonna be so much more giveaways. I have so much stuff to give to you guys. Um, it just, I just haven't had a chance. So I hope you guys are excited for this giveaway. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you very soon. I love you so much. Bye! Mwah.